Hi guys, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining me once again and thank you very much to those of you that have subscribed. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Oh, not too long ago there was a magnitude 2.6 that USGS revised to a 2.7 and then they changed the location. It's actually a magnitude 2.9. And this is interesting because it's in an area that's drawn out here in yellow. This is an ancient volcano. Yeah, St. Francis Mountains uh, Volcano. Eons ago, this used to be an island out there in the middle of the ocean with an environment similar to what they have there in the swamps of Florida. And as the oceans dried up and the plates moved, the continents moved, yeah, it dried up and this is a remnant. This is the area that was originally an island. This more recently has become the area of the new Madrid fault system, also known as the uh, real foot fault system, which you can see hopefully drawn out in red. I downloaded data from two different monitors. Uh, you can see here on the left BROM and CACT. They both come in as a magnitude 2.9. It's probably actually much larger, but you can see here I shortened up the seismic signature. And for some reason during this earthquake, it got so loud it went quiet. Those of you that have followed me for a while would recognize that as magma is coming into a system. It gets so loud that the uh, monitors can't bring it up. Let me bring this down and you can see here we got a magnitude 2.95 actually. This earthquake has rounded tops which means it's volcanic in nature. There is one right here tectonic and it was showing tectonic but as you know rip systems kind of like the ring of fire um, yeah, you often have volcanic eruptions. So this is a little concerning, seeing how this is an ancient volcano here, that we are showing, yeah, movement of magma. Lava is called magma when it's under the ground. And they're deep, rounded tops. Let me show you something else. This image comes from USGS. I've talked about the sharp points. You see that one, the plates are moving, tectonic movement. And then right here, shallow volcanic earthquakes, identical to what occurred during the time of this earthquake. Now, if this signature had been shallower, it would have had rounded tops, but it would have been about oh, half the size of that. That would have been volcanic. Basically the same thing. Um, it means magma is on the move, rising up in the system. So let's go back to the location of where that earthquake occurred. Now in the past, there's been several other earthquakes. Uh, last year there was a 4.0. And let me see if it was just, okay, that was November 18th of last year. And then this one too. I think they changed the location why I have two different spots. So does this mean that the rift system is on the move because of the tectonics? The rift is slowly widening up, um, recharging the volcano over here. You know, there's another area of an ancient volcano. That one's called Hicks Dome right there. I've talked about that one too in the past. You can actually see the crater. And there is lots of uh, dike intrusion where it actually came up. And we have dike intrusion of um, lava in this area also. So just out of curiosity, I wanted to see how far apart this uh, St. Francis Mountains volcano is from Hicks Dome. And it's well, oh, about 111 miles. Supposedly, the new Madrid fault zone is about 45 miles wide. This uh, volcano is almost 45 miles 
from the edge of the New Madrid fault zone. You know, the best I could draw it out. This here is what one of the monitors was showing when I pulled the files just a little while ago. Yeah, see, that's volcanic. That is volcanic. That is not good. Look at that. All right, let me go to the other monitor. This one here is C-A-C-T. Let me go down here. Okay, now this one has a little bit sharper points. All right, so let's take a look where these two different monitors at, are at. This is C-A-C-T. C-A-C-T is at Cat Corner, Tennessee. So it's way off over here on the uh, eastern edge of the uh, New Madrid, Madrid seismic zone. And the other one is Brosley, Monta Missouri. Excuse me, let me bring it up. That one's actually closer. All right, so the one is right here. Okay, and the other one is down over here. Um, this one over here on the, the far right showing tectonic. And then the one on the left up by the volcanic field. That one is showing magma movement. I couldn't get this one to work. I tried downloading the uh, the data. And I believe this one too. I couldn't get to work. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this. It just might be a fluke, a one-time thing. As our Earth's magnetic field weakens. Yeah, we're going to see more earthquakes. And we're going to see volcanic eruptions. This one at the top is uh, Brosley, Missouri. The one at the bottom, um, that is Cat Corner. This is what it's currently showing. There's been no aftershocks. None whatsoever. If this was a main shock for an earthquake, you would definitely have more earthquakes afterwards, aftershocks. Um, it's kind of like what's going on there in uh, South Carolina. No main shocks, but lots of individual shocks. So what are your thoughts? Please put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you.